rational numbers on number line. Let us start this chapter by revising different types of numbers which can be represented on the number line. Let us first discuss about natural numbers. You cannot see zero on the number line because natural numbers do not contain zero. Therefore, they are also called as counting numbers. You can notice that natural numbers extend from 1 to infinity. Now, let us move on to whole numbers. You can see that zero has now appeared on the screen because whole numbers include natural numbers and zero. You can notice that whole numbers extend from zero to infinity. Now, let us move on to integers. You can see that negative numbers have appeared on the number line. Integers include all natural numbers, their negatives and zero. You can notice that integers extend indefinitely on both sides of the zero. Let's move on to rational numbers. You can now observe fractions appearing on the screen. As you are already aware that a number that is expressed in the form of x by y where x and y are integers and y is not equal to zero is called a rational number. Notice that fractions also extend indefinitely on both sides of zero on the number line. Hmm, now you can see a delicious pizza. Let us divide this pizza into five equal parts and see how we can represent this on a number line. As you can see, one piece of the pizza represents one-fifth of the entire pizza. Now let us see how to represent this on the number line. To represent one by five on the number line, you simply divide the number line between 0 and 1 into 5 equal parts. Mark the first division by 1 by 5. Similarly, mark the second division by 2 by 5, the third by 3 by 5 and so on. Now you can see that the first division that is 1 by 5 represents one piece of the pizza on the number line. Similarly, you can mark any rational number on the number line. An important point to note here is that in case of rational numbers, the denominator tells the number of equal parts in which the unit has been divided. Whereas, the numerator gives the number of considered parts of this unit. Therefore, a fraction 3 by 7 represents three equal parts of seven. Now let us represent this fraction on a number line. Now as explained above, divide the number line between zero and one into seven equal parts and mark these points as shown. Now the third division represents three by seven on the screen. Similarly, we can represent negative fractions on the number line. As you can see, how minus 3 by 7 has been represented on the number line. 